biggest threat to commercial aviation these days is this, the water bottle, right? All of us who've flown in the last couple of years know that we cannot go through security carrying one of these. Well, let's do something. Let's take this here, transfer this, like that. And okay, well, we've got that water bottle. Here's something else. We've got a uh, Starbucks container, a little something in here. Talk about this later, but I wanted you to get a chance to see this. Todd here is uh, my, wearing my uh, sweaty clothes. Todd here, uh, Todd Schmidt, the uh, special agent bomb technician from uh, Chicago Field Office, is going to take this down range, set that shot up for us, and we'll talk about this later. You remember at the very beginning, I mixed a couple liquids together, and I said, "Okay, this is our this is our new threat." Let's talk about what those liquids are. Inside the water bottle, I had about seven ounces of nitromethane. This, though, is a little bit different from this uh, other nitromethane I had, this stuff that people use for when they want to race their cars on the weekend. This is 100% strength or pure nitromethane. A little harder to find than, the, than that stuff, but not impossible. The reason I say it's not impossible is because Timothy McVeigh went to a racetrack in Texas and bought three 55-gallon drums of 100% strength nitromethane. And he took those back to Kansas, and he used those to mix with the ammonium nitrate fertilizer that he bought to make the bomb that was used in Oklahoma City. Probably the most expensive part of that entire attack. I think he spent about $2,700 on those three drums of nitromethane. And using that because he knew from his research that this is a very efficient fuel. The other material that I used, that I had inside this bottle here, was, is, nitric acid. So we have 70% strength nitric acid. You can see just from sitting inside this little Starbucks container, it had already fumed and discolored the inside of the container. And we can smell that, that, that strong acid smell. So I mix those two liquids together, both of which you could have easily walked through security with, right, up until a couple of years ago, and mix together once you got past security. So we've got a one pound charge of nitromethane and nitric acid. Three, two, one. This is sheet explosive. It's what's known as a rubberized explosive compound. But what it's used for is, is that it's, it's, it's molded around things, it's wrapped around things. We've taken about three ounces of sheet explosive. Now, why we've taken that amount is that that's about the amount of explosive that you could put into an envelope, let's say with a greeting card. And we've seen a number of these letter bombs over the years. I worked on some in the late 90s when I was in the laboratory. We had a one dissident group targeting another group, and they were mailing them these, these envelopes that had these musical greeting cards inside. They were using the energy from the little musical greeting card, the switching system there, to detonate a blasting cap that was inside some of this flattened out explosive. The point is, is that they flattened out those caps, they put it inside that flattened out explosive. So what we're going to show you is the effect if you had a uh, a three ounce letter bomb arrive in your office and you stuck it inside your filing cabinet, this is what would happen. 